should be a great trip for us. A uh, lot of good learning stuff. I have some things up here that I'm going to share with you guys. I'm going to give you probably an hour or so to relax for a little bit, get, get, get awake, and then I'm going to hand some things out so we can kind of juice things up for today's visit. I have a couple of these. The quiz is just meant to kind of uh, teach you a little bit about the culture, some of the different cultures and things like that. It's just a learning thing. Uh, and I'll, I'll go over it. At the YMCA of, in uh, New American Welfare Center of York, we took a bus trip to New York today to, uh, to look at uh, two Ys, Flatbush and Flushing Meadow uh, YMCAs that have had New American Welcome Centers uh, working since 2008. Uh, we came here to find out what, what the program looks like, uh, the future of our program in New York City looks like, uh, uh, and try to see what, what we can extract from from uh, two welcome centers that have been operating for over 10 years uh, and to see how we can mirror some of their programs and some of the things they're doing to to make our program successful at the York YMCA. Welcome um, everyone to our Flatbush uh, site here. You walk through what is known as the New American Welcome Center. Class is going on, you'll see flyers and kiosks and multilingual information for the community. So Victoria actually really runs this place and she does outreach and intakes. I think uh, some of uh, the, the, the very top one for myself personally is uh, is uh, some of the reporting aspects, the way they report uh, for grant purposes and things like that. That was important to me. Understands diversity and welcomes diversity rather than seeing it as negative. Uh, another one was to have my advisory committee and and my community partners uh, see what what the what the growth of the program could be in the future, and uh, the third one is is uh, to find out how they service their community and how it really mirrors what we're doing in the community to try to service our our community immigrants and people who are displaced in the community. We don't ask any questions. Whoever walks in the door is welcome to the services that, that the Y provides, to the referrals and services that the New American Welcome Center provides. One of them is our ESOL classes. Um, we offer love various levels because of our participants and the community needs. Everybody is welcome. Nobody's turned away. And that's a big proponent for the Y, even without the New American Welcome Center. One of my students, her name is Ching. She is from uh, China. Very good. Yeah, yeah. For, the, for, for me, it's the new thing uh, English learning, English is the talking is a little bit more. Mm -hmm. We serve all immigrants, no matter where they come from. What part, of, where part of the country they come from, where in the world they come from. I had a, a family, uh, who a uh, young man that was displaced from uh, Puerto Rico. Him and his and his wife uh, were displaced here. They ran into, she ran into some trouble. Um, and uh, he uh, came to me and wanted to know uh, what we could do to help him. He was really distraught because three kids, uh, which were taken from ch taken by children and youth, he wanted to get his children back. Uh, so it's a story that really is near and dear to my heart when it comes to kids, because uh, nobody wants to see their kids go in the, in the children and youth system. Not because they don't do a good job, but because you don't want to uh, pull children away from their families. Uh, so we helped this father. I helped this father. Uh, as a new America Welcome Center to to uh, get a better job, to find a place to stay, to get through the inspections of children and youth and the uh, housing authority so he can get a place for his children and uh, and bring them out of the, back out of the system. And uh, he was awarded his children uh, a month and a half, almost two months after our program started because of the help of the New America Welcome Center. And I see this to be an everyday situation for a lot of people, uh, not only himself. There's a lot of people in the same situation or worse that uh, they could use the services that we can bring to the table to help them to sustainability.